Man, my eyes are burning right now. I don't know why. Oh, man. I don't know what's up with my eyes, but they're terrible right now. Taylor, what are you doing? All right, so uh, we're going to go ahead and do... Arizona State's arena. Uh, then I should be done with the first five teams. I think I'm gonna do them in sets of five. So uh, we'll do the first five. on the state so first thing we got to do is we got to set up what as far as the arena everything that it's going to use so usually what I do is uh, try to plan everything out so I get all my arena IDs I get all of that stuff set up the logos the floor that I'm going to use the crowd that I'm going to use once I get all of that set up, then I go ahead and basically fill that stuff in. So, uh, again, with 2K, basically each team has a arena file that basically when you look up, when you play as that team, I don't know what my daughter doing right now. When you play as that team, it's going to load up that arena file. It's gonna load up the specific floor file. It's gonna load up a crowd file. So it loads all of this stuff up when you're playing as a specific team. So my daughter is going nut up. So right now, Hold up. can I share this? Let's see if we can Let's share this. Floor. All right, so I don't know. Facebook. All right, so let's see if we can share this. Taylor. Fortunately, this video may be. Video maybe maybe all over the place depending on my daughter how she acting so I may have to leave the mic for a minute <laughs> so uh, if I do then you know why um, but so let's go ahead and do this so so for my next expansion the next thirty teams that I'm doing I have I have it set up to set us for, I have it set up for all of those files Taylor I have it set up for all of those files so I can just fill in the teams I'm gonna do so next is Arizona State so we're gonna do Arizona State so we basically just gonna fill this in That just helps me um, basically be able to know what files I'm using when I'm setting this arena up. So let's do this. So we know our arena is going to be 619. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just copy and paste an old arena and replace the files that I need. So let's take our V3. 
Alright, so I got some arenas in here. The arenas start with S or stadium. I call it stadium arena, whatever. Same thing. So the last one I did was 618. So I'm gonna copy 618. And we're gonna rename this to what? 619, because that's the arena that we want to use. S619. Alright, so now we have the arena for Arizona State. I'm gonna go down and do the floor. So the last floor I did was 065, F065, we're gonna copy that. And we're gonna rename this to F621, cause that's the floor. All right, we're gonna go down again. Okay, we're gonna crowd, the last crowd I did was 595, and I don't, I didn't even, oh, 584. So this time I gotta have crowd 595, so I'm gonna copy 594, paste it in, it's all in my modded folder. I'm gonna name this Taylor 595. So now I got all my crowds. I'm missing a crowd, ain't I? 591, 2, 3. I didn't do 3. Let me copy that and do 3 too. I didn't do my crowds yet. I may do a um, video where I'm editing crowds. But all right, so I got my five floors, five crowds, five stadiums, and then every team has two uniforms, so I need 10 uniforms. So I got two, four, six, eight, and then the next two uniforms will be for Arizona State, which I'm not gonna do right now. All right, so man, we also need the logos so then this logo is gonna be 304 i have another folder for my logos because they're separate right now so the thing with the... taylor what are you doing in there Oh, my daughter's so bad. All right, so with the logos, you can't just copy and paste because they have certain file names. And if you're loading up a team, you gotta think about it. If you're loading, I can copy and paste arenas because only one arena is gonna be loaded at a time. If I copy and paste logo files and two teams have the same logo numbers, the logos will be the same. So we're not gonna do that. So I had to actually go and get the logo files from the archives themselves. So, logo 30. What logos are I gonna get? Logo 303 and 304. I need both of those. So, logo 303 is in archive 0C. I need 303, 304. So, we're gonna go to archive 0C. I'm gonna grab them logo files out. I'm not worried about doing the logos right now, but I, maybe I will do a logo just to do it. So I'm gonna go to 0C, load up that archive. Why are you trying to dress the dog up? Girl's bad. Alright, once you all once your archive load up, I know it's in 0C, so I need to go logo 303. And it 30, yeah, I need 303 and 304. So 303, we're gonna export that. Oh my god, the damn Elmo dog. I'm gonna kill Elmo. 304. Alright, so I took the. So basically, when you're taking it out of the archive, you're basically taking it straight from 2K. D Taylor, you're bugging right now. All right, so I got 303, 304. All right, so I got the logos done. I'm going to close this out. I don't need this right now. I don't need that right now. All right, so go back to our folder with all our main files. So 
got my crowd for this team. And remember, I kind of I kind of mapped it out to make it easy for me. So basically, when I'm planning it out, I said I want to do 30 more teams. Taylor, move your head off. <laughs> I want to do and so with them 30 teams i'm gonna need 30 arenas so i had to write down what arenas that i didn't use yet um i had to find 30 floors 30 crowds and 30 logos so and then all i did was basically i'm just filling it in so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna open up we're gonna open up 2k and we're going to open up Cheat Engine. Cheat Engine is a tool that allows you to change stuff behind the scenes within your roster file. Everything is tied to the roster file pretty much. So when I load up a load up a roster, it loads up all the special settings that I'm changing, like team names, all that stuff. The Elmo's in the background, so sorry about that. <laughs> all right, so we're going to create roster. No, I already have a roster. <clears throat> that I've been working on updating it. So this is the roster that I'm currently working on right now. So if you take a look at this roster, <laughs> so these are these, this is where I'm getting a 30, this is where I'm getting a 30 extra teams right here. Cause I want to replace these classic teams. So starting right here, so all these are classic teams. See, I got the classic number in front of them. That's what I'm replacing. I'm trying to see if I can replace most of those. All right, so the next team that we, we just did, St. John's. So we're going to do 71-72 New York Knicks. So we're going to change them to be um, Arizona State. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to open up Cheat Engine. I don't need that open right now. I don't need that open. All right, so let's open up Cheat Engine real quick. Stop, Taylor. Stop messing with my in my MIDI controller. All right, so when we open up Cheat Engine, we just gonna. Oh, first, let me check some real quick. All right, gotta always check your EXE because this is also tied to what changes in your roster. So if they update the game, none of my stuff will work. So I just always make sure I check that. All right, so now I'm gonna look at my teams. Now this stuff is all out of whack right now because when I saved this roster and did all them changes, it kind of messed up. This red and blue, I had all my teams organized, but when I ch edited my roster, it messed it up. But this stuff is still here. So the Terriers, the Ramblers, the Bonnies, and the Red Storm, that's these teams right here. So if I go Red Storm, Bonnies, ramblers terriers so chronologically in this list um i have i don't have a full college roster um for pc i have a, a roster with no nba players though that's what i do i'm, I'm not making like a real uh, authentic roster but if you're looking at these teams so the terriers is the first team this this is right here in cheat engine this is basically where these classic teams start so these right here these are all the classic teams so the next team after Red Storm is supposed to be the 71-72 Knicks, right? So that would be this team right here. I can verify that by opening this team up in Cheat Engine and make sure the details are, are correct. So I'm gonna copy that, I'm gonna open this up real quick. All right, so this team right here is the, it's basically these, this is like the, the information behind this actual team. So it displays the team name, displays all that stuff. This is where all that stuff is controlled at. So as you can see, classic team end year. The ending year of this team, the classic uh, this classic team end year is 7172. That's how we got the 7172 New York Knicks right there. So I'm gonna take this out and we're gonna say none. See how that disappeared? Now that I'm saying none, no. So since it doesn't have a classic team end year, it took that off. Now I'm gonna go in and change the rest of the stuff. So um, the team name right here is the second half of the actual team name or the ending of the team name. So um, uh, in this case, since I'm doing Arizona State, this is gonna be state. So I'm gonna change that to state. All right, 
the arena. I'm gonna block that out because I'm using my own arena. Uh, the logo, I'm a, I don't have a second logo, I'm blocking that out. The city name is where you get the first part of the team name. Uh, I don't have one for Xbox, but you may it may be one out there. I know it's one out there for PS4 because Skill of Skill did that one, but I don't know about Xbox. All right, so New York, I have to change this to Arizona, right? Because this is the team we're doing, Arizona. So, so now we got Arizona State replacing the 7172 New York Knicks. So now I got to change the abbreviation. This is what shows in the score screen. So I don't know, what's the... Is it ARZ for Arizona? I mean, I don't know the, I guess. <laughs> All right, so that's the review. So here go our logo file. So remember we already decided what logo we was gonna use for this team. That logo is 304. So I'm gonna change this to 304. Then I'm gonna copy this. Save me from having to go do this over. So there's three logos that the team that the game uses for each team. So you have to make sure you got three of them. All right. So that's all blank. That's blank. That should be right. The jersey data, stadium data. We're gonna look at this. This stadium data is important. We're gonna look at that in a minute. Um, don't. I don't need to worry about none of this. I mean, you can change this stuff if you care about that stuff, but uh, that don't matter to me. Playoff appearances. Just kind of keep track of how many times they went to the playoffs. This is where 2K pulls all that information from. It's all right here in this menu. All right, so team color one and team color two is important because I need to know, this is gonna determine the colors within the score screen. So the scoreboard, when it shows the color behind the team, whatever color that team is supposed to be, this is where those are controlled right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually open up Arizona State. And we're gonna get their colors real quick. What is it? Is it was red and yellow? Kind of like a red and like a yellow. Stop stepping on my MPD. I need to make beeps with that. You bugging. Alright, so we're gonna say that our two colors that we're using for this team is gonna be this red. Or this red. Which one are we going? Uh, see, I don't know which red to use. Let's do this. Let's find out what red Arizona State Arizona State colors. See, I did the more so it's more maroon. Do they got like uh? Not Arizona State. I'm talking about the NCAA team. So this website I've been I used a lot, but I don't. Sometimes they colors be off. So it's gold. All right, to make sure everything match up, we just gonna use the red and gold right here on this. Stop, Taylor. We're gonna use the red and gold on this state color right here. Call it a day. I can always go back in and edit this. That's why I save all my files. So. Hey, you better stop or you hit your head. See. you gotta calm down you fall and bump your head all right so we're gonna use this red color right here this maroon i'm gonna copy that that's team color one and then i'm assuming it's red and gold right or maroon and gold so i'm gonna get this yellow i'm gonna get this yellow right here this looks straight see you back running around again bump your head all right so this is Maroon and then if I can spill and the other one's gold. Cool. Alright, so we got the colors for the for the team. Alright, so the first color is the maroon color, right? So we're gonna copy this. 
I use Photoshop because I try to match everything up to my court because I want that to be, I want that to match up. So this is the, all right, so team color, team, okay, that's good. All right, we also gotta change it here. Bunch of stats about the team, which I don't care about changing. All right, this needs to be, I got a team file. I just need to remember what I gotta put for right here. I can't remember all the time. All right. Damn, I thought I put that in here. Uh, I guess I did. All right, so I gotta figure it out. So actually, I think it's 84. I think it's zero and 84, but let me check and make sure. So what I can do is I can pick a different team. I'm gonna actually change this color of this too, because I like to keep them color coded. All right, so let's look at the red storm. Another way I could do is I can automatically have this stuff change automatically, but um, for the sake of showing, I'm not gonna do that. All right, so this has to be 100 and 100. What is 84 on here then? Something is supposed to be 84. Team specific PA sound. I don't, you don't need that diaper. Team specific PA sound. So this is supposed to be 100 and 100. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and change it on Arizona State. Copy this team. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna do all right. So, so here we go. So this is supposed to be 100. This is supposed to be 100. All this goes behind when making a team in an arena and all of that junk. All right, no mascots. Obviously, I don't want none on the court. Uh, team type historic is fine. Bench stand doesn't matter. Standings. Team state steady. Um, crowd ID. All right, so I know I gotta change the crowd ID because I want a specific crowd to be used. So this crowd is 595. So I'm gonna update that. Um, all right, so that's 595 for that crowd. What else down here? User edited. This user edited has to be yes because if it doesn't, it'll still hold all the same stuff from the actual team. So when you change that to user edited, it, it, it makes it think that you created this team yourself. Like you made it like during like my league and it has all the default stuff, for like somebody making a team, which is important. All right, team color three, I just matched that to the first team color that I use. So I'm just gonna copy this one. And then the shot meter background, I just copied it out one too. Downtown doesn't matter. Um, nope, so that's good. So then you you basically got a team done right here. The only thing you gotta do now is edit the arena and then make that arena, you gotta basically assign that arena to this team. So I'm gonna go out of here, go into the arenas. And I'm just kind of doing them. Would you stop messing with stuff? I'm gonna just do them piece by piece. So I just been going down the line. So this Shanghai arena, I'm gonna use for this one. So we're gonna copy this. So this Shanghai arena is gonna be the arena for Arizona State. Taylor, why would you empty all them toys out? So now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go to Arizona State and we're gonna get all the information about the arena. So Arizona State Arena NCAA basketball. So Arizona State plays in the Wells Fargo Arena. What is that what Phillies Arena? So all right, Arizona. All right, so. So Wells Fargo Arena is the name of the arena. So we gotta, we basically gotta edit that here. I mean, it's not that hard. So Wells Fargo, Wells Fargo. The city name is where you're gonna get this information here. All 
the Dornas are going to be, I got to change, I got to, the LED is all zeros. Certain arenas, there's an LED, there's like a, um, I don't know if you ever been, if you ever look into an arena, but in a, in a stands where like, the, honestly, like, we're like, where the second level and third level, they had a little border things that go with the little lights and stuff, they have like a little, basically like an LED that goes around and then it plays stuff like defense and says all type of stuff. Just an, just a, a, an LED board. I had to actually edit that board to make sure it doesn't show any NBA logos. So I have to use the same LED for every team. All right, so the donuts I uh, used are, I can't remember. Can't remember which doors I use, but don't matter because we can copy this from here. The Dornas are the advertisements 626. The Dornas are the advertisements um, uh, at the scores table. So I'm change the color on this to be blue again. All right. I'd like to know which ones I worked on, so I just changed the colors on them. Bam. All right, Wells Fargo Arena. All right, so I forgot the dang on it. Doing is already doing too much talking. Doing too much talking. Doing too much talking. All right, so 626. So this has to be 626. So it'll look at the right stuff. All right, the arena file. We know what arena file I used already. What arena file did I use? 619 was the arena and the floor was 621. 619 for the arena. These are all the arenas in game. 621 was the floor, right? Let's make sure. Yep. So it's floor 621. The arena was 619. All right. I don't need no alternate. I don't need no. Uh, I'm sorry, zero. I don't need no alternate floor IDs. <clears throat> City abbreviation. What's the abbreviation of? Let's see. I can change some stuff too, as far as like this, the, the uh, I don't know what they, what it looks like. Uh, really ain't no abbreviation on it. Really, it's just all right. City abbreviation is just gonna be. That's just the city, really. <laughs> All right, the state is AZ. AZ, AZ. I could put AZ for the damn uh, abbreviation. I don't know why I didn't. All right, the arena capacity, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Music probability, I turned that to zero. I don't know if it does anything. I just do it. Crowd loudness, I turn that to 100. Don't know if it do does anything, but I do it. Sound ID. I don't know what the sound ID actually does, but let me check another one real quick. Actually, let me check this one. What did I put for the sound ID? 84, 184 bit, all right. All right, Wells Fargo, so sound ID has to be 84. If you don't, my daughter's bugging. If you don't change the sound ID, then you may have sounds from a different arena and they may start saying NBA player names and some other junk. So you just don't want that. All right, basket type. Taylor, put this over there. The basket type is gonna be an NBA stanchion. Basketball type is gonna be default. I think that's default. Normal, normal location type, indoor, day and night is what I usually select here. 
no, 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 the crowd type. So this is an Asia arena that I'm doing, so I have to change that to be NBA. All right, everything is good here. You don't have to do nothing else here. So now the only thing that you have to do now is this arena number here. I need to put that under my team name under the stadium ID so that when I load up that team, it looks at this arena. So I'm just gonna copy that real quick. 7FF, 42A, 1123A88. Perfect working real, that's gonna work right, but we'll see. All right, so this is state, this is Arizona State. I don't want to hit my put ARZ, it's AZ. This is uh, Arizona State. This is the stadium data number I was talking about. This number has to be this number here in order for this team to load up the stadium that I just edited. So I'll put that right there like that. Bit. All right, now I think that was a, a rural stadium, wasn't it? It was like an outdoor stadium, so we're going to see if it works. All right, so then that's all I pretty much do. I'm gonna actually save this final roster. All right, so now I'm gonna load up the game. And every time you do all them changes in um, Cheat Engine, you have to save your roster. So I'm gonna actually go in. Oh, save this. My controller be taking forever to connect sometimes. Come on. All right. So I'm gonna save my roster as this one. All right, so now I'm gonna actually go to 2KU and I'm gonna load up that team, Arizona State. Remember I just changed them. So remember I changed them. There's the Terriers, Ramblers, the Bonnies, the Red Storm, and there's Arizona State. So remember I changed the 71, 72 Knicks to be Arizona State. So now I'm gonna go ahead and load them up. And it crashed. So I thought I could get away with not loading up the right numbers, but obviously I cannot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this. Load up 2K. It's a trick that I have to do. I have to load up a, uh, I have to load up a, an old roster for me to get the right names. It worked for me last time I did this. This time it did not. I'm trying to get around stuff. I need to not do that. All right, so I'm gonna go to create roster and load up the very first roster I ever edited because this has all the right names on it. And I'm going to get those names correct. So arenas. So this is the arena number that I have to have. It's probably gonna be different than what I got. Yep, 7FF3, three, three, E, 9C4, 9C4, my eyes are terrible, 3A88. So that's the number that I need to load up on that, on that spot. All right, so I'm gonna load 2K back up. I'm gonna get out of this roster. I have to keep this roster because if I don't, my name, my numbers are gonna be all messed up. So at least that's the, at least that's the way I've been doing it. All right, create roster. Now I gotta go back into my edited roster, the other edited roster with the names and stuff. And then I have to load up the, 2k again go to teams go to arizona state and this stadium data see how i put a number there now it's blank that's why it crashed out because that number wasn't correct so it crashes out so i gotta open this up i gotta paste in the right number and it's four zeros after all right so change that Save roster. Now I should be able to go into 2K, 
load up Arizona State, and it's going to put me on like an outdoor court because that's the court that I'm replacing. One of them outdoor joints. So, but, uh, Arizona State. Should load up right this time. There you go. So, remember the court that I changed was 621. Uh, the arena six, I think it was, what was the six one? What arena is this? So, the arena for this team is what? 619. So, 619 is actually an outdoor arena, it's just a little like barn arena. It's, and it's a half court joint, too. So if somebody wanted to make like a um, big three, you could use this one. Technically you can. Just gotta change some stuff up, but for the most part it's decent. All right, so that's the stadium. So what I have to do now is now I have to edit the actual stadium to look like Arizona State. And that's what we're about to do. That's the, the purpose of this whole video. But you gotta get that cheat engine stuff out the way. Cause if you don't, <clears throat> then you won't be able to you won't be able to do what you need to do. All right, so we did that. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. All right, so now I need to now what I have to do is I have to go back into my folder because remember I copied all of this. I copied all the stuff out already, so. Arena 619. So let's go into Arena 619. So the easy the thing about arenas is so easy because you basically just replacing all your files over. So 619 should have all the stuff from the last team I did, which was St. John's. So basically what I'm about to do is just replace everything that I did for St. John's and replace it and put on top of it Arizona State. So the first thing you have to do is do mm -mm 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 -mm. So this is the logo that's on top of the seat cover um, in the stadium. So it's on the back of the chairs. This is that logo that sits right there. So we're about to change the to be this. What are we gonna use? We gonna use this or we gonna use this devil? Ah, let's put the devil. Maybe. How do we want to put this on here? We got some options here. We can put like that little logo right there, or we can put the devil on the back of the seat. So let's put the devil back there. Let's, yeah, let's put the devil back there. So what I'm gonna do? Let's close this out. I don't need something no more. We gonna open this up. We gonna fix the colors on them real quick. So all the white. Hold up. Let's, let's put this at a hundred. So all the white, we gonna layer via cut. Delete that out. All right, so now we got the white gone. So now we're gonna take, <clears throat> remember I wrote the colors down for stuff like this because I want you want your colors to be the same. All right, so I want my colors to be the same. So I'm gonna make this red, that red, there you go. So now that tint changed. All right, so now I want to do the gold because I want the gold to be right too. So we're going to change the gold to the gold that I'm using on the court. There you go. So now we got that. It's not the best, but it's going to get the job done. All right, so now we need to make his eyes and stuff white. So we're going to take this white brush. And we're going to make it a little bigger. Okay, not that big. We're gonna undo that. All right, so we're gonna make a new layer. Put that under here. Now I can. I won't go on top of my texture. All right. So make his teeth white. Make his teeth white. All right. So now we good. Right, so now we're gonna take these two and we're gonna merge them together. So it's one layer. So now I'm gonna take this logo. And I'm gonna put it right here. 
And all I have to do is make sure it's kind of centered. That's it. So make this a little bit bigger. All right, so then we're gonna delete that, bam. So now the seat, the cover on top of the seat is done. I'm gonna save this to the desktop. Once we edit every file we need to edit, we're gonna throw everything back in. Simple as that, easy. All right, so now this is the team Twitter URL. So on top of the backboard, there is a Thing that tells you the Twitter for the team or the like website. We're gonna do that last. This is the stanchion. We're gonna do that last. Um, actually, we can do that now. So this is the stanchion that's on top of the actual. Well, that's a part of the uh, rim. You know, I be having the stuff on the side, and they got the little logos on there. So that's what this is. So we're gonna make this easy. We're gonna say, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut off this. I'll cut off this part. The reason, oh, sure. the reason why I need to cut it off is because I'm about to take off the metal. This white here is the metal. I don't want to keep that. So, Tay, stop. Okay, now I'm gonna cut this out. All right. So now I'm gonna delete. I'm gonna delete that stuff, but I'm gonna put another layer on top, and then this should be my room. Two K yep. Sports pregame show. Okay, trying to play. Greetings, everybody. I actually don't need 2K up no more. All right, so then we're gonna go bump. So now that's gonna be the color of the stanchion right there. It's gonna be that. But we're gonna work through it. So, all right, now the next thing we gotta do is we can we can leave that on. Next thing we gotta do now is we need to put on the side here what we wanna put. So, in this one, I just put Red Storm. I think I'm gonna put. What's Arizona State's like? Do they have like um Do they got like a slogan or something? Sun Devils, okay. Ghost we can say ghost. We can say ghost we can say sun devils. We'll just say that. Keep it easy, keep it simple. We're gonna just say sun devils. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a text layer. Um it actually is going to be in this color right here too. All right, so I'm going to just put uh, Sun Devils. All right, so Sun Devils. And then we're going to fix it. We're going to clean it up. It doesn't look stupid right now, but wait till we get it and you'll see how it work, how it go together. Alright, so Sun Devils, I'm just gonna put this right on top of that bit. Alright, now I'm gonna duplicate this because I'd need it twice, right? I'm gonna put it right there because I need it twice. And then right here is on the backboard. Not on a backboard, but on the stanchion, the thing that holds up the rim, there's a little logo. You can put like a logo right there. So we're going to take the sun devil. We're going to take the dog right here. We're going to outline him in yellow so he don't be stuck. I'm going to put dog right here. Or I could actually put this logo. Hold up. I got some options. I can put this logo. I kind of want to put the devil though. I think the devil will look, look dope. I can put this logo down there. I can actually put the, wait, what color is the stanchion is going to be red. So I can put this one in it'll work perfect. Or I can put that devil. Oh no. Let's do this. Let's use this one. So layer shit. Let's take the white off of here. Layer via cut. All right. So let's take this and use this. So that's gonna be the logo. 
I mean, you can always come back in here and change it up anyway, so it don't matter. All right, so free transform. So we just need to clean this up a little bit because the logo, you want it to be You don't want it to be too, uh, it's a little different. All right, so we're gonna see how this works. I can't guarantee this is gonna look good, but. All right, so we got the words on the side, we got the logo, we got the metal, that's all we need. So now we're gonna go ahead and delete, delete, keep. Oh, shit. We're gonna delete. Then there we go. So that's how the rim is gonna look. It's gonna have a Sun Devil logo. It's gonna say Sun Devils. We're gonna call it a day. Uh, hold up. One thing I could do is make sure that, because that's gonna irk me if it's wrong. This color needs to match up. So I wanna make sure this matches up. So let me get rid of this Sun Devil too. All right, so which one is this? This is this one. All right, so we're gonna click here. Just make sure the colors match up. You can see that the tint is slightly off. I don't want that jump to be like that. Bet. So now you see how it matches up. It's clean. It looked clean. All right. So we're going to go to 16. I mean, 20. Let's do 25. Oh, I can see everything better. All right. So 25. We're going to save this as the stanchion. So now the stanchion is done. And then you just keep going down the list, man. Keep going down the list. Knocking everything out. Keep them two logos open. All right, the next thing on the list that I gotta change is the stanchion logo vertical. So this is the, another thing that says Sun Devils. We're just gonna make it say Sun Devils again. Nothing crazy. We're gonna make it say Sun Devils, make it yellow. We're gonna keep it the same size this one. And then we're gonna put it in the middle. All right, we're gonna delete this out. We're gonna turn this yellow. What are you doing? Get that out your mouth. Let's go. Bad. All right, so color overlay, we're gonna take this to yellow. Cause remember the thing is red, so we need it to be, we need it to be yellow. We need it to stand out. So I'm gonna save this as on the desktop. So that's the thing also on the rim that goes up and down vertically. All right, so then this is the Undertron. This is under the Titan Tron thing, the logo that's there. So we're gonna edit that real quick. I'm thinking the Sun Devil gonna be dope right here. So let's put the devil, oh, actually. Let's put the devil right there. So let's take our devil dude. And let's put him as the logo underneath this thing. All right, then I'm gonna make sure that, I think that's good, all right. So then I'm gonna move this down. And then, do we wanna do yellow? Let's do yellow effort. Let's do, uh, do we wanna do like that? Or do we wanna give him an outline of yellow? Do we wanna give him an outline like that? Then for this, do this. I'm thinking that looked better. So we're gonna rock with that. All right, so save as, put it on the desktop. All right, so then that is your, underneath the Titan Tron. You'll see how these pieces come together. This is the basket backboard. So let's, and then my John crashed. I know it's probably crashing because luckily I don't gotta use no more logos. All right, so basket backboard. <sighs> Taylor, stop. Move. All right, so basket backboard. So this is underneath the, um, on the backboard, you know how it has the, that padding for the glass? That's what this is. 
So I just need to change the padding for the glass, which all my color codes gonna match up, dog. Bam. Oh shit. Bam. All right, so that's done. Don't worry about all them other NBA stuff. I took that off. You, you, nobody will never see that because I took it off the arena. All right, so next is the cushion for the chairs. This is the color that's on the chairs. We're going to make these red or maroon. Next is the LED. This is the thing that's around the actual... Um, it's the advertisement that's attached to the actual backboard. So let me just do that. Again, I'm just making sure everything, every color matches that same maroon color because I want it to be clean. These are the chairs. That's in the actual crowd. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, again, chairs is going to be maroon. Everything is going to be maroon. Everything, everything. All right, what's next? The vinyl seat back cover. So this is the cover on the actual seat. Um, I may make this yellow just to have it stand out. So we're going to make it that color. We also got the devil that's going to sit on top of that. So we want them to stand out. So we're going to make that yellow. All right, that's done. All right, next is the no slip mat. So this is the mat that when you go, when they go to check into the game, they wipe their feet, you know, when they do, they get a little tired, the little, the little kid, they little warm ups, throw it at them. <laughs> so that's what this is. So we're gonna actually take this logo and let me use that right here. Oh, that logo look disgusting. It won't look so bad when you smell scale it out though. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cheat the system. I'm gonna cheat the system. I'm gonna do like that. I'm gonna do this. Now that logo is gone. So now we got a sun devil. What are you doing? You about to take a bath and eat. So look at that with this. Oh, oh, hold up. I don't like that little, that little, uh-uh. What are we doing with this right here? Oh, crap. There we go. Save this again. I, ain't, I had that little... Yes, I want to replace it. Yes, I want to replace it. All right. We're almost done. Laptop. That's it. The only thing we got to do now is we got to do the team Twitter thing so what I'm gonna do to make this easy I'm gonna drag this out I have a template that I use for making the Twitter things so I'm gonna show you so team Twitter so when I do my Twitter little bag the thing that's on top of the backboard is I get the Twitter which is at the is this the man though I think, right? Tay at the Sun Devils. So we're going to say this is at the Sun Devils. I ain't trying to rasterize them. What y'all mean? No, I don't want. What the heck is going on? Oh, I had the wrong thing set up. All right. So at the Sun Devils is their Twitter. So I'll just move this over. Thing with editing this, there's a bar usually in the middle of the backboard. I think it's like the cameras. So you don't want nothing in the middle right here. You won't be able to see it. It won't look right. Come here. It won't look right. Stop playing with that. That's why you feel. All right, so we'll move this over a little bit. All right, and then for their website. Uh, oh, they don't even got a website though. What are they doing? They got to have like a bath for the basketball though. Let me see something. Twitter, man's basketball. Cause usually it's like that. 
Yeah, there we go. This is the men's basketball team. At Sun Devil Hoops. I'm gonna go back here. Edit that. Cool, all right, so that's Sun Devil's Hoops. And then the Go Ducks. Do they got a website? I don't even think they got a website. Sun, the sundevils.com, all right. The sundevils.com. I might just do sundevils.com. Say sundevils.com. I'm gonna do the Sun Devils. <laughs> I'm gonna move this over. Alright, and again, you're gonna make sure nothing's in the direct middle because if it is, it's gonna mess up. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this, I'm gonna scale this down a little bit. What's up, lady? So the sundevils.com. All right, that's good. So now I'm gonna save as, put it on the desktop, save it as the right type of file that you need. And we're gonna replace the Oregon one that we had already had. All right, so there you go. So the arena is basically done now. Once you got all your files, all you need to do is open up your, your arena, which is the 619, right? All right, we got it open. Open up 619. You're going to take everything that you just made. Put it in there. So once you put everything in there, you basically just need to load your mod up and see what it look like. But first, I need to do the floor. So the floor was what? What was the floor number that I changed? 621. Is that right? Because I just did the arena. The floor was 621, so let's... Oh, my daughter is crazy. Taylor, what are you doing? Dog, she's walling out. So let's... Stop throwing stuff. Stop. So I'm going to go to Arizona State. I'm going to go to... That's Alabama State. Let's go to Arizona State. Let's go to the court. Oh shit. All right, so usually what I try to do is have these courts in 4K. I don't think it matters. Nobody playing 4K, but I'm gonna do it just to do it. My computer been bugging out lately when I've been trying to save courts in high res. Don't know why, but it has been. Can't tell you why. But it been bugging out. Alright, so now we save the court. Desktop. Court final. It's gonna take a second to save. Done. To up, upscale it take a minute, but to save it take a couple seconds. All right, so now I'm gonna update my floor is 621. So 621 right now, what floor is this? Let's actually see what's in 621. 621 is this floor, what is it? St. John's, because I copied St. John's over. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna close all this up. I'm gonna take the name of the St. John's one. I'm gonna put it in here. Then I'm gonna take this court and paste it back in here. Bring me that. So now this court should be Arizona State. Now you basically go in and you just check everything that you did. Yeah, 
Yep, Arizona State. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and close all this junk out because we did this junk real fast, didn't we? Um, close all this shit out. All right, close this out. So we pretty much did just the arena and a court for now. That's all I wanted to do. I don't want to do no more than an hour. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually activate the mods that we changed. Remember, we changed. We, we were editing inside of this V3 folder. We edited the stadium, and we did the floor. So we did the stadium and the floor. We did the team sp specifics and cheat engine just a little bit ago. So I'm gonna activate the mod. Taylor, come here. Turn on 2K. Now when I go to that team, instead of that barnyard court that I had, it should have the court that we set up. Taylor, come here. Come here. So remember when we changed Arizona State from the New York Knicks to Arizona State. So let's take a look and see if it worked out. So we're going classic teams. Remember, I did those four earlier. And I did this one now. So let's go in here and see what it looks like. So if I did everything right, we should have a new court, a new stadium. There you go. Everything came out pretty good. I'm liking the colors. Look clean. Everything looking Gucci. All right, so let's go over what we changed over here real quick. So I'll let you guys know what I changed. All right, so you already know I did the court. So I made the court from scratch. So, did the court, right? Um, we did... Rocco, chill out. We did this logo right here. Remember I made that logo, I put that logo on there. On a damn stanch, I can't even get to it. Remember I put Sun Devils on the side. Remember I put Sun Devils down the middle like that. Remember I changed those, remember I said the crowd seats. You remember I added the sun devil and said he was going to be on the chair. And then remember I changed the chair cover. That's what that is. All right, what else did I change? So you remember I did the, I told you about the pads that's on the ground. There you go. Uh, what else do we do? So that's the two pads. What else do we do? Um, I didn't do this. I didn't do this now, but I have MacBooks in this boy. <laughs> Again, got the laptops. I got CBS on the actual microphones. CBS. And what else do we change in here? All right, so the the seats in the front row. See how those are red? Remember, I changed that chair to be red. That's what those are. I don't know what this black seat is right here. I don't know what that is. I would change that too. I don't know what it is though. It's a texture. I just gotta find it. When I find it, I'm gonna change it because it's annoying. Taylor, uh, what else do we change? Um, stuff that you guys didn't see me change, but I changed the advertisements. So let me see if I can show you. Oh, see where it says AT&T up there? That was whatever 2K had with the game. Enterprise, put that in there. If we go up, Coca-Cola, Buffalo Wild Wings, Pizza Hut, Intel, Wendy's. Come on now. 
All right, then if we go, oh, there it is right there. Remember I said it, this was under, oh, this look a little messy, but it don't matter. People are not gonna see this. Taylor! Oh, my girl is bad. So remember I said this was underneath the like Titan Tron right here? So that's what that is. You stuck on how to install. What reset? I don't even know what you're doing, bro. What uh, what you trying to install? All right. Um. So yeah. So that's everything that we just did. We did that. In, you see me do that in an hour. Obviously, I had the court done. <laughs> that's the that court take a minute. When you're trying to get a crispy court done, it takes a minute. And if you want it to be high res, like like I'll be trying to have my courts high res. It takes a minute because sometimes it's hard to find the logos. But, and then I'm noticing something right here that's gonna annoy me right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but if you look right here, this edge is not lined up. Fuck, I gotta make that, I gotta do that over. I gotta try to fix that. Let me see if I can. Talk. My daughter is bugging out. Let me see if I can fix that. I was on a state court template. So that is just not lining up right there. I don't know why it's doing that. I think I have to move the logo over some or something. I don't know. We about to see though. Uh, what are you talking about? Reshade for what? Madden? Cause I got a Madden reshade video of two. 2K? All right, yeah. So that is wrong, so. Let's go to 200. So you see that right there? All right, so let's go to court images real quick. There's this image right here. So maybe I can scale this. Let me try. Oh, it's just off here. You see, this is off right here. Maybe I can just move it to the left attack. Eh, uh, 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 uh. All right, now center. What about down here? Oh, this whole thing is just off. All right, so let's 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 go back down. Let's let's take it down a notch. Oh, two K nineteen. Uh. What reshade? I, I really, I don't even, I don't even know I released my reshade that I was using. I might have, I don't even remember, bro. To be honest with you. All right, I need to move this over, but I need to get really, really detailed with this. So I need to zoom in. Hello. Okay, that's pretty even right there. But what about the top? See, what's messing me up is this will be even. But the top will be all jacked up. It's like this logo line ain't a centered line. That jack is annoying. Right, can I move this over a bit? That might be the best I can get it, bro. I'm about to, I'm about to call it. Come here. I'm about to call it, dog, because this is gonna be super annoying. This is gonna be annoying. That's like I can. It's like I don't know how this junk got messed up to where. All right, we're gonna call it a day with this because I can get real tedious with this. For some reason, this ain't never gonna be centered. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my NCA line, go to my center line, whichever one that is. Oh, that's this right here. And I'm gonna just uh, cut it. 
cut it over right here. A layer via cut, delete. Okay, control Z. Alright, we're gonna hide it though. Where's this, this, this one? Yep. Alright, so I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna layer be a cutter. Hey. Yeah, what's up? You ready to eat? I'm kinda hungry too. Yeah, what? I'm kinda hungry too. Alright, so court images, which one's just this one? Alright, so I can tag it over just a bit. See, when I do that, it's just gonna automatically move that over. Uh, it was 2K Sweet Effects. Okay, yeah, two. That's what it was called. You had a link in the comments. Like Realism gameplay with the Kings. Two, yeah, Sweet Effects. You don't have to do nothing with that. You just basically gotta drop that in your folder and you Gucci. Yeah, you don't gotta do nothing with that. I'll look at it in a second though. Yeah, you gotta try to get detail. Just look at this. Something is up with this image. I don't think this image is centered right because I shouldn't do this. But in a minute, I'm gonna call it a day. All right, we're gonna call it a day on this. It don't look too terrible. But it's like irking my fucking nerves right now. <laughs> it's just irking me, bro. What the heck? It's like I can't. That's the center of it there, but why is this why is this not centered? That makes no sense to me. And I can't. I need to actually hold it. Um turn it on. To be honest, I don't think you gotta do nothing special, it just loads up. Uh, we gonna rock with this right here. Don't look too bad. We gonna save this. Are you hungry? I'm not gonna even make this 4K. We just gonna save it as 2K. <laughs> 2K. I'll look at it in a second. All right, so now we can close this out. Close it out. Yeah, I just I just couldn't stand over there. All right, so now bump V3. And this was court. What court? The floor was a 621. Open this up. Drag this back in. All right, so now I replace that floor. Uh, I need to take some food out too for us to eat. All right, gonna delete all this. Delete this. All right, turn this back on real quick just to make sure it look good, and that's it. You gotta put it in the full 2K folder. Actually, let me see. You said those versus King. Taylor. So it's this one, right? Oh, okay, okay, here we go. So let me see what we got here. All right, so the only thing you need to do, you don't need to do none with this. I think with this, that you have to find a global Thing that you use so I think on mine I put scroll lock was the um, yeah scroll lock so take this folder the sweet effects folder open it up when you open up the sweet effects folder grab all of these and drag these into your 2k folder 
when you drag those into, the two, into your 2k folder you should be good to go you don't gotta do nothing else outside of that when you get into the game it should automatically activate if it don't just hit the scroll lock key that's sweet effects people are now using reshade uh, and uh, reshade is a little bit different All right, um, let's go back in and take a look at this, and I think we're good. Mm -hmm. See, I'm using reshade on this game. I'm not using sweet effects no more. Taylor, if you don't stop picking stuff up with your mom, you finna eat, take a bath. Got your hair washed yesterday, so you good on that. You try re reshade is just basically the reshade is the upgraded version of Sweet Effects. That's all it is. Where reshade, you can go in and change all your settings up. That's why I like reshade. And you got a menu and everything. Reshade is the truth, bro. Download the latest one, put it on your game, and make your own settings. And that's what you got to do. You got to make your own settings for that joint. Mm. <laughs> What the heck is my daughter doing? Alright, did this fix my cord? Oh, you know what? I don't think I turned off my mod and turned it back on. That cord. But yeah, sweet effects. That sweet effects that I put in there is a real, it's real light. Won't mess up your game, really. I was using that for a while. And every once in a while, I'll go back and put that in my game. It's just still jacked up, yo. It's still off. You know what I might have to do? I might have to just shave it down, yo. But anyway. You get it, that's the tutorial. It's really not a tutorial, I'm just kind of making videos showing how I edit teams. Doing a tutorial with this stuff would just be so much work, man. So I'm just making these little videos, doing this, going live. People catch it, they catch it. It's always on VOD, so people can watch it back. Um, I think I'm gonna make, I think I might go live again tonight uh, in a couple hours, and I'll just talk about modding in general. Cause it's like if you got if you know how to do a little something with Photoshop, man, you can completely change everything in these damn games. All right, my daughter's going nuts. So, so yeah, I did a couple cyber faces. Like, you didn't, man, bro. I'm trying to learn cyber faces right now. You need to throw some videos out there, bro. All right, but yeah. When I don't turn my mod on, that's what happens. You see, you get that barn court. When I turn on, you get the Arizona Arizona State court. Hell yeah, 2K14 is the GOAT. I had loaded up the other day. I still got it. Still got mods on it. It's the GOAT. Alright, um, that's pretty much it for me, man. Uh, I may go live tonight showing guys how, how I do my career using my league in uh, 2K. I may do that later, but I'm finna get out of here, go make some neat. I'll holler at y'all. Peace.